what you just saw was a demonstration solve for the 2x2x3. Two by two by now, um, if you could solve this, uh, regular 3x3 three three Rubik's Cube, but you can't solve this, um, that's, there's a number of reasons for that. This is a lot easier than this, but, um, for uh, most of you that can solve a, a regular Rubik's Cube, you probably looked online or something. But, um, if you didn't, um, you could probably solve this, but if you just looked online or someone else told you how, then you probably can't solve this. You, or you, yeah, you probably can't solve this. Or you might be able to, but... Anyway, um, because that's because even though this is a lot easier, it still requires a uh, few algorithms. Um, actually, just one al one long algorithm and two really short ones. Um, so yeah, it's a really easy puzzle, but you might still need this tutorial to learn how to solve it. So. I'm going to go over notation, which is similar to 3x3, three three, but it's a little different. Now this is my own notation that I made up. So don't go like posting the comments saying that's not the real notation. I just made up this notation. You can use it too if you want. So what I do is um, on the top layer, this is U um, for up. So this is U when you turn it clockwise and U inverted when it's counterclockwise. And then um down is D, um so it's D and then D inverted. And then this is M. So you're just gonna need M or M inverted. You're probably only gonna need one of those. You probably won't need M and M inverted, but I'm just gonna tell you both of them just in case. And on the 3x3, three three, for the rest, you'd have, um, like, front, the back, and the left and the right. But, um, for this, um, you can all, it's only, res it's restricted to 180 degrees turns, and you only need one of these slices, really, to solve it. So, I'm just gonna call this slice. I like to call it slice. Okay, so now that you know notation, let's scramble this thing. Okay, now that your two by two by three is scrambled, we can we can solve it. The first thing you want to do is solve the first layer. Now, as you notice, there's no edges up here, so you don't need to do a cross. So it's not really like a three by three. But like the 2x2, two two, um, they also don't have edges, so you need to get the first layer. Um, and you can't just like get two um, of the same color, but like not matched up on the same side. Because um, then the, they aren't the right piece, it's just the same color on the top. So, um, what you want to do is... Finds the one that should go next to it, like the one that should go here is should be yellow and red over here, and the one that should go over here should be yellow and blue. So, this is yellow and red over here, and the way you want to get it down there is if you just move it down, it might not be next to it. So, what you want to do is you want to put it so it's um like in the same place when you move it when you turn your cube 180 degrees like it not not on top of it but like in the same place like it should be here and then if you turn 180 degrees you should put it here so when you move it down it's there but I didn't put it there yet so right now you just want to put it in that spot so when you move it down they match up and then you want to do that again for one of these you want to either get the yellow and green one and put that here, or you want to get the yellow and blue corner and put it there. So in my case, I have the yellow and blue corner. Now, actually in this case, if these two are ma matched up, you can just bring the whole thing down. But um, if you don't, just scramble that. Okay, if you don't, then 
you just want to do the same thing we did before like that it should go here and then put it in that spot just move it down and it's matched up now when you have one more corner on that side you'll find the problem because you can't just move it down like when you try to do that you want the orange and yellow to go here so orange and yellow when you move it down it matches that up but it messes that up so how do we get rid of that how do we fix that problem um it's a really short algorithm it's only about like it's really short you, I, you might not even want to call it an algorithm so um you just, now this time you want to put it directly on top of where it has to go and then um with it in the front right and then the algorithm is slice f slice f inverted slice and that solves your first layer all you're looking for is that 